When you install PenGraphy, PenGraphy EXE file and PenGraphy info file will be created. First, click PenGraphy info file in order to calibrate digital pen with the screen. Click board pattern info and click clear page ID with the mouse. And touch the screen with the digital pen just once and draw along the line. When the save page ID button is activated, click it with the mouse. After that, click exit and start calibration. When the pop-up window is on, click revision button and select touch input mode and the screen will automatically change to calibration process. And you will see crossbar mark at upper left of the screen. Touch middle of the crossbar with digital pen and kit follow it. Finally, click OK to finish the calibration. Now let me introduce what kind of function PenGraphy Board has. PenGraphy Board able you to use whiteboard as an interactive whiteboard. So now you can open File Explorer and you can select any folders you want to open and view the images like this. Now let's view online materials. You can zoom in and zoom out the materials. And also, when you need to annotate on the material, touch the color button, which are right bottom of the screen. Now, you can directly draw on windows. When you want to save this annotation, just touch the last button and then find capture button. When you click capture button, you can drag the area you want to capture and the drag area will be pop up onto the chalkboard. And of course, you can add more details to it. Next, I will explain about this bottom menu. First button, you can change into window mode, which you can surf around in the internet. And by clicking the button again, screen will change to chalkboard mode, which you can more focus on drawing and writing. The hand icon able you to create new page by dragging left to the right. Now you can select your pen in color by touching color icons. You can write anything with the color you selected. And you can generate floating menu by pressing the area you want to use for at least one second. In floating menu, you can choose type and thickness of pen. For example, fountain pen is a good fit for writing Chinese character. When you're having a meeting, you can put the materials you want to show on board. And of course, you can easily entertain on them and add more details to the graph. Now let's learn about how to utilize multimedia contents. Touch more icon and find multimedia import. Then you'll be able to open several images and view them in slideshow mode.
and of course you can zoom in and zoom out the images. By using the zoom in tool in floating menu, you can drag the area you want to zoom in. And also you can annotate on it. Next, let's learn how to import videos. Follow the same step as we did and open the video. You can easily zoom in and zoom out the video. And when you zoom out, you can capture the images from the video and put them on the board. You can take several captures at once. And you can also directly annotate on the captures. Let's learn about how to import PowerPoint files. Click More icon and find Open. Search for the PowerPoint and open it. And you will see that PowerPoint file will open as PowerPoint format. So you can see the animation of PowerPoint is being activated in itself. And you can also directly annotate on the PowerPoint too. Now let's learn how to export all the information we wrote down on board and this information will be saved as pages. You can select page range like all pages, board, additional board and page setup. You can export these pages into images or PDF format. Let's try export as PDF. You can find saved PDF file by going through File Explorer, Documents, and you will see the folder named PenGraphy. Inside the folder, you can see the saved files in time order. When you open the part, a PDF file, you can see all the information is being saved well. Now let's learn how to print. Click more icon and find print. And you will see same options as export. You can select page range as we did. I will select page setup and print out just this one page. As you can see, a selected page is been printed. Let's learn about record function. Press more icon and find record. And you will see that recording icon is being created at the bottom of the screen. And all the thing I write down on the board will be recorded. In order to save, click the recording icon again. And you can find a recorded file in File Explorer and go to Documents and find PanGraphy folder. Let's watch the recorded file.
Now let's learn about group meeting function. Click more icon and find group meeting. Now I'll select the students who I want to enroll. Teacher can display the textbook by touching the page which he or she wants to put on the screen. You can also display the other pages by touching on it. Now let's display students writing on board by touching two students. The textbook of the students will be on board and you can see their writing in real time. And you can also simultaneously give them a feedback. You can zoom in each student page by clicking the icon. You can also zoom in the pages too. You can put more students by touching the icon and also you can put your page onto the screen too. When the lecture is over, click X icon on the bottom of the screen to save the pages. You can check save files in Pangraphy folder and the pages will save as individually. And the folder will be named as their student ID. Now let's see what we can do in settings. Click more icon and find settings. In settings, you can select the theme for chalkboard in canvas category. Choose graph paper, music, and yellow paper. In menu option, you can select the type of pen and also the thickness for pen. And you can also turn on and off the line correction and also choose left right hand type for floating menu. In program category, you can set up auto starts and select languages. Now I'll select the theme as graph paper and draw figures with rulers. Finally, let's learn about multi-touch function. If there is a touch type content, you can use two digital pens to utilize the content. I'll put on a Google Earth. You can zoom in by dragging with two digital pens. You can also annotate on map and also you can zoom in and out the annotation too. And also you can circle the globe like this too. And also, you can zoom in and out the images with the two digital pens too. And now, let's play a game. In this game, you can play with two players with four digital pens.